Hello and welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by Adobe Tutorial Man. Today I'll be teaching on um, making a normal button in ActionScript 2.0. So let's get started. And the reason why I am repeating this tutorial is because of my poor quality of my first one. And there's going to be a link beside it if you want to see the poor one. But I'm pretty sure you're going to like this one. And before I start the tutorial, um, if you have any... Uh, questions or how to do things in Flash, Dreamweaver, uh, Photoshop, anything, just tell me because I haven't been making a lot of tutorials in a long time. So let's get started. Start by clicking Action, action Script 2.0. I'm just going to make a normal button. I'm just going to put a rectangular thing in, on it. Just being fancy. Alright, so we got that clear. Alright, now I'm just going to select my text. And. Alright, now I'm just going to select it. I'll make it white. I'm just going to name it button. Alright, right there, select the whole thing. Click F8. And what we're going to do is we're just going to name it button underscore BTN because BTN stands for a button and MC stands for a movie clip and I'm not sure what the graphic graphical means or something. Alright, we're so just going to name it button and we're just going to go to the typer and type, put in a button because it's a button. And we're just gonna, I, was, I always put the restoration in the middle but it really doesn't matter. Click OK. Alright. Now we're going to come down here to our timeline. Make this bigger. Alright, here's the timeline. And we're going to, um, actually wait. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on the second frame. Any frame that you want to lead the button. Once you click the button, it's going to go to a sub, 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 ah, I can't say it. It's going to go to a sub, sub, Pit, ah, whatever. It's going to go to a frame, and we're just going to put in uh, insert blank keyframe. So now that we have our blank keyframe, it's going to have a blank stage. What we're going to do is we're going to put. We're first going to go back to our button, click F9, and then let's type in stop. There's a stop. We're going to click F9. I'm just going to go back to our second frame. Do the same thing. This causes it to, instead of playing it like an animation, it stops at each frame. So we're going to go back to our, uh, actually let's go to the second one, our blank one. That's going to put in a, uh, it works. Works. Alright, now we're just going to go back to our button frame, click on the button, click F9, and we're just going to put in the simple code. It will, it will always stay in your head every time you're going to write it down. So we're just going to put an on release a quote, not a quote, shift 9, shift 0, then a semi, click enter, roots, underscore dot root dot, root dot go to and play. I was going to put it to the frame that once you click the button, it's going to go to a frame, and we're just going to type in that frame. Ours is uh, two. So that's the code. I'll let you take a pause it if you want to paste that or something, whatever. Click F9 to get out of there, and I think that should be it. Full enter. Test your uh, frame thing. Test your movie. So I'm going to click on it, and it's going to lead to the other frame. And it works. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any other ones, any any, any questions, comment me. And yeah, um, thanks for watching this high quality one. And see you guys later.